Hello everyone, welcome to the once more detail oriented Laragon course. So first question arises that what is Laragon? So let's give it a read from Laragon official documentation. So Laragon is a portable, isolated, fast and powerful universal development environment, right? So basically Laragon is providing us a local development, right? And it's a uh, um, providing us different to uh, uh, local environment for different uh, technologies for php node.js python java go ruby right so it's providing uh, a lot of uh, technologies uh, to their local environment right and uh, why i'm uh, suggesting that you need to use this loragon so before this i have used to uh, zamp vamp and stuff like that right and i believe that i think that uh, zamp is a lot simpler than this loragon and i'm um, uh, seriously i'm afraid to install this uh, loragon right and uh, believe me when i install this loragon i thought that it's uh, uh, a lot easier than zamp and it's very easy to use this for different versions it's providing us uh, uh, automatic uh, domain creation we don't need to uh, type localhost and sl uh, slash like this it will automatically create us domain for us we can instantly switch between different versions and it's very fast right if you not believe me just give it a try and you will surprise that how much it's easy right and in this detail series i will teach you that how you can set up this into your development uh, and your uh, uh, set up this for your local development how to run the project uh, using this laragon how to use this for the different versions like if you have different project version how to install this for different version how to set up the system environment variable and basically this series is all about laragon and i will teach you each and everything about local development that how you can set up your projects and run your projects in your systems so you can do this with the any of operating system but uh, here now i'm on the windows so i will teach you that how you can use this for the windows but if you are using the different one the process is almost same but you need to download the different uh, different uh, operating system setup okay so in this first video i'm going to install this uh, uh, exe file so just click on this download to above button and here you need to download this full version you can download this uh, portable version but uh, if you are using this php and mysql i you can use this out but if you are using the laravel or node.js and redis and stuff like that so you need to install this because it's providing us a lot of these uh, extra tools right so here just click on this and it will start the downloading right and yes it started this downloading 173 mb and i'm cancelling this out because i have already downloaded this uh, setup file for you because i don't want to take your time right so here just click on this and i'm going to install this out okay so here just click on it and it will ask some basic uh, some uh, basic setups like next x, x and stuff like that and before this if you install the zamp or vamp so this laragon is also using the same port 80 so make sure to uninstall them otherwise it will not install properly and give you errors that uh, this laragon is unable to install or stuff like that right so make sure to uh, uninstall the uh, the other things which is uh, requiring this uh, port 80 so here just click on this i'm basically uh, giving is uh, giving its administrator permissions to install this out right and yes the very first thing is you need to choose your language so here i'm choosing this english language okay and uh, then here and now it's saving this in the c drive and in the c drive it will create a laragon directory right so just click on this laragon and run when um, laragon start when windows start yes i want to start it but if you don't want to just uncheck this out right and any virtual host it will create by default um, will pretty url it will create this uh, url your app name dot test url so you don't need to create your own domain like you are doing in the zamp add a quick way to note plus to right click you can also do this right so just click on this next and here click on this install 
and it will install this XAMPP and before this I want to tell you that who I am. So my name is Dayat Niazi and I am the founder of this career development lab and uh, here I'm a full stack web developer. I'm shooting the Laravel courses on this channel. I have 30 plus courses. So uh, let me uh, review it that uh, what I'm doing here Laravel CMS, how you can build the CMS, uh, custom CMS using Laravel. So I have you know, almost I shooted my playlist in the real environment. Uh, this one is about if you are planning to uh, store build a larger application of Laravel. So you, you need to just watch this series deploy app on the uh, not this one. Sorry uh, Laravel design pattern. So how to structure your project to if you are building a large application So in this series I explained it with an examples that how you can do this, right? And this will very help you helpful for you if you are building a large application in this uh, series you will learn that how to deploy your apps on the server right so i have also shooted this in the live environment set up vs code if you are a laravel developer you need to watch this series in this series i will i teach you that uh, how you can install different extensions and increase your development to uh, process right you can boost your development process like adding the namespace at the top switch into the any files and stuff like that integrate admin dashboard if you want to integrate the admin dashboard i have shooted this also in the live environment that how you can do this out right so before uh, its completion i'm telling you that uh, about my other courses right so here this one is about laravel pdf series how you can generate to uh, pdf using laravel the very first video is about uh, how to uh, generate a very simple PDF then I explain that how to uh, generate the CSS uh, how to blade the blade files render the blade files in the PDF how to generate the styles uh, in the blades in the PDF and stuff like that there is much more thing that how you can uh, download this uh, this PDF and uh, send it into the email and stuff like that I have also another email series laravel advanced email series where i'm talking about that how you can send the different colors email if the it's going to send this on the uh, sending to the administrator it will send this with the green background if you are sending with the um, sending to a simple user it will send this series uh, send this email with the blue background right so believe me it's a very amazing series so this is about the laravel apis right so you can uh, set up your API. I have tested this with the Laravel HTTP client. So this one is also about this one. So let's take eye on this. It's uh, almost completed. And uh, before this, let me check the video size. Oh my God, it's going bigger. And uh, it's almost completed. And after this completion, I will uh, show you that uh, how it's look like and then I will tell you that to uh, where it's going to create the directory because our video is going bigger I don't want to bore my students so I will meet you in the next one and don't forget to check the next video because next video is going very amazing so I will meet you in the next one bye bye guys